Hello friends, welcome. My name is Dave. Thank you for joining me for this fragrance hobby. Today I'm looking at the house at Aramis. This is 900. I just did a review for its buddy, Havana. I'm sorry, little brother. Because Havana came out in 94, while Aramis came out in 73. Now stop, stop. Do not turn away. Do not click off or, uh, you know, do not just leave me hanging here. This is such a great scent. Um, this review is for myself and I'm trying to bring it to you because even though it's an older scent, but it's one of the very best. And there's so much to this fragrance. If you are, if you are kind of um, uh, tired of the, <laughs> of the modern scents that smell very, very similar to each other and also without much depth, then look into this line. The Aramis line, you know, the whole line basically have a very rich classic vibe that is also complex and very interesting. That's the word I want to use, interesting. There's a lot going on in the scent itself. Not just, you know, super sweet, not just bubblegum, not just blue notes, right? Not just Ambroxan, but there's a lot of interesting, great things going on in these bottles. Even though it's, it's been a long time, even though there might be some reformulation or water down, but the best is still the best, all right? And if you're ready to explore your nose, give yourself something interesting to, to smell, pick up any of this from the line. Maybe except New West, which is more of a newer, more modern blue take, but everything else like Havana, like um, Tuscany, like 900, there's a couple more like Devon. I have all the whole series because that's how much I, I really, really enjoy them. And also the price is so cheap. You get this for under 20 or $25. So you get into explore into a lot of depth, a lot of complexity, a lot of interesting things that's going on, all right? Now I'm going to spray this uh, as we, as I talk you through it. This is one of my treasures. Um, the 900, the Havana, the original Aramis, all these are great, great, great scents, okay? Now you gotta have your mind ready to explore the classics. Because if you're gonna compare it to Dior Sauvage or Blue de Chanel and all this newer modern scents, it's gonna be different. But different is a great thing. Variety is a, is a great thing that makes the world turn, right? I always say that that's how new exploration comes about. So keep trying new things, okay? Even though this is a classic, but if it's new to you, go try it out. It's so inexpensive, but just prepare your mind. That's one of the reasons for this video is be really sure something that I know is so good. And at first it was hard for me to understand or take. And then I, I, just, I just blind bought one. And at first I, I didn't understand it. Honestly, I put it away for a year or two, didn't reach for it until one day, one of those um, cooler weather and I just sprayed it on and I fell in love. I fell in love. I fell in love with Tuscany. I fell in love with Havana and I fell in love with this 900, Aramis 900. Now with all those says, make sure that you haven't clicked away yet. I haven't turned out this, this video yet. It, what does it smell like? On the, on the top, you're gonna get those green notes, all right? You're gonna get um, coriander and also some bergamot and lemon. So you're gonna get some freshness on that. Now, everybody know what lemon smells like, but if you don't know what coriander smells like, like coriander oil is smell a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit woody, and peppery. That you no know, in itself is already so interesting, right? With all this mixture of those different characteristic type of notes. So you're gonna have those bergamots and then that's only the top notes, right? How great is that? All right, you're gonna get some uh, rosewood, bergamot and lemon. So the top already is gonna capture your attention. This is something great and different. Now it's gonna transition into the middle notes. You're gonna meet rose, carnation, you're gonna get geranium, lily of the valley, jasmine, and orris root. You, if you're confused by all those notes, yeah, me too. I'm confused by that too. But what I pick up the most is the rose, all right? Rose and jasmine, some lily. It's in the background, but it's dominated by rose, all right? And then after a little bit, maybe 10, 20, or 30 minutes, you're gonna get into the base where, um, don't be scared, okay? These are all very light. Light oak marks, light civet. Yeah, I say civet, but don't worry. It's fake civet. It's artificial. It's synthetic. There's no real civet stuff in there. All right. The, um, and then you're gonna get the sweeter patchouli. 
vetiver and sandal and those comforting amber all right so you have a lot of comfortable easy non-scary non-offensive type of notes that's supporting this whole thing so don't worry about the oak moss or civet those are all very light you just just pretend it's not there okay so don't be don't be worried about it but for those of you that enjoy those scents those notes yep it is here <laughs> But it's not gonna dominate and kick our butt, okay? What what is dominating most for me is is the rose notes, the sweetness coming through. So what I do with this one is I always this series I always spray on my shirt, and my skin because it will come out very different, like most uh, scents. But because this is so complex and a lot of depth, uh, so interesting, I want to put it into you know the skin will have the body chemistry is going to warm it up but on the shirt it's going to stay a little bit cooler so you're going to get very different facets all right this is what's so cool about it and there's so many notes that is so interesting as as opposed to like more modern scents you know you're going to give you more targeted scents like you know sweetness plus a little bit of something else and those two notes together it's hard to mix make it's hard for them to mix or get you something interesting so this just want people to smell something oh it's nice it's nice but this coming back to this one is so complex i absolutely love it i cannot recommend you know this enough plus the whole line because one is the, the 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 i guess guilty pleasures but i just hope people can get used to it then we could all wear it anywhere and and become mass appealing and everybody's just gonna enjoy it no matter what so on the shirt is so sweet i mean the rose you ever walk in the garden you smell the fresh rose and there's a sweetness to it that this is it ah this is beautiful now it does have the lighter oak moss that's on top too uh, it does have this you know something it's very light so don't worry about it okay but if you you don't know what it's you know you you you're hesitant about it just you know <laughs> just it's not that big of a deal right you cannot really smell in this you just smell the sweet rose you can smell the sweet patchouli little the valley okay so and some nice carnation what's so scary about all these beautiful notes right there's nothing but it does smell classic like i said prepare your mind and you're gonna be fine prepare your mind you're gonna walk into the different era different time right sometime example not only do we watch today's uh, movies right all this uh all this superhero movie or all this battles or whatever it is that's fine right but once in a while you want to watch the classics like you know um it's like it's a beautiful life right you want to watch um uh the hitchcock movies right the oldies but goodies this is one of those oldie but goodie and it's complex it is so different to, than today's movies right i'm sorry the sense right so it's going to be very 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 enjoyable and bring you a lot of uh, different aspect and it's going to open your mind about you will open your mind up to a different um genre different area and then you'll be surprised how your nose is going to expand and you guys start to appreciate a lot more stuff all right so coming back to um the categories as far as um age um i want to say 21 and up all right 21 and up and if you love rose, you you okay with oak moss, give it a try. And then don't worry about civet. There's nothing in here that's civet, okay? And then versatility, um, wear it for yourself, right? If you're if you're cool, just wear it. And um, but don't worry about those new people that newbies, okay? That's not very much into fragrance. They might not understand it then you know, just avoid them wear this when you just hang around your home get used to it you have the idea of what it is and you appreciate it so when you see them and they're like what is that then you could you be able to explain to them this is an old classic that is so complex and so much depth that you need to be able to appreciate and it's going to expand your nose so let them know it's a good it's an oldie but it's a goodie let's say it's a classic but it's a goodie a good classic all right so uh <laughs> I'm sorry. I love this fragrance so much. I love the whole line, the Aramis line, so much that I just decided I gotta do these videos. Even though I know people are not used to this, and I don't know if there's gonna be anybody watching. For those of you that watch this, um, I hope you know you give it a try. And if you already you know appreciate this, hey, we're in the same club. So as always, thank you so much. I hope this is helpful to you. 
And if it does, please support me by clicking and supporting a uh, thumbs up and so forth. As always, thank you so much and see you next time.